Live at five, it's offer review. And so we are getting an in-game announcement. So that means the patch will be tomorrow. And when the game goes down, I will be live on Twitch, finding all the bugs, looking at all the patch notes, having all the fun. And uh, we have an in-game notification that Absorbing Man, and typically on patch day, we get a new character. So my best guess is that there's going to be uh, Absorbing Man uh, tomorrow. We'll see, I don't know for sure. Also, uh, because the game is gonna be down, a couple things I recommend. Uh, one, the game is gonna go down when Cosmic Crucible, like the last hour of Cosmic Crucible. So I'm gonna do my Cosmic Crucible tax now rather than waiting for the game to go down and then nothing happened. The other thing that is gonna create a problem with the patch going down is uh, the Lunar Festival in Symbiote Sabotage are ending sooner, mostly because of the maintenance. In-game notification about the patch tomorrow. The game is expected to go maintenance two hours before the end event countdown. So be sure to get your progress in early so you don't miss out on whatever last milestone you're hoping to reach in the last two hours of the event. All right, so this is a, this is a, I know that there's a lot of controversy about this post. And uh, before I read this post, I just want to say that at the end of the day, Scopely screwed up. Let's not forget that. Uh, I think we need to hold the developers accountable for when things are wrong. And when things are wrong and things go sideways and some players get stuff and some people don't get stuff, it, rather than like fighting, Scopely's the one that screwed up. Like they created this problem, right? Players typically act on their own best behalf in their best in, in their own self interest. That's what players do. None of this would be an issue if they didn't screw up. So let's gonna read the post. On January 22nd, an inbox message. So that was a week ago Sunday, like 10 days ago. Uh, Titiana was featured in Red Star Orbs, but the banner artwork and related artworks were not updated. Actually, the, the, the banner did not show her at all. Like, so the banner was still like the old banner and she was not in any of the orbs but there was an in-game mail and there were offers. So like we knew there were offers and then there was an in-game mail that said that she was in the orbs. So people opened the orbs. I think a percentage of the players opened the orbs intentionally expecting compensation. I, I do believe that actually happened, but there was also players uh, that opened the orbs because they saw the mail and they saw the thing. And what this post is suggesting is like, how dare you not check everything all the time is kind of what they say here, which I think is a little bit insulting. I, uh, how about you don't create busted offers? Fix your game, right? It's not the play. I don't understand why it's our fault. Like they actually make it sound like it's our fault in here. Compensation was delivered on January 28th to all players for players who opened basic Red Star orbs during the time uh, Titania was, was not in the orb. They were sent a portion of what they opened. And, and I kind of suspected they were come to a day where they weren't going to do what they did in the past. And I think a lot of people were expecting compensation. And so they went crazy. And it looks like they're not going to play that game anymore, which I kind of suspected might happen someday. But anyways, upon further review of the issue, players who opened elite orbs during the time uh, was missing from the Red Star Orbs will receive some additional compensation. A percentage of the value of the elite orbs opened will be sent before Absorbing Man leaves the featured characters, Red Star Orb. So this is actually kind of bad in my opinion because people wanted Titania, right? And uh, they couldn't fix, they couldn't get the compensation together fast enough for that to happen, I guess. And then this is the part that's kind of weird. As a reminder, the team assesses each individual issue and the actions taken here are not necessarily the same that will be taken in future cases. We strongly encourage players to check the contents or prior to opening it as they will not always be compensated. All right, I guess that's all I got to say about that. Let's move on. Uh, there shouldn't be a limit on raid sim attacks. And uh, this is, is creating problems for certain players uh, in alliances where one person is doing all the work and maybe there's not enough people or half full alliances and um, I, I do, I see this post a lot, uh, but it doesn't make sense. But I guess the reasoning is, is that they really want homogenous alliances with everybody the same, everybody pulling their own load and nobody should be doing more than this. And I, but I do agree. 
I don't really want to understand the limit has been placed on the raid sim at all. Why can't we sim as many battles as we would like? I think we have to remove this arbitrary cap. There's no point in giving us a set amount of sim battles other than, you know, getting, it, it's, it, they're trying to make you get upset with your alliance mates and make them engaged or have you move into an alliance where everybody's pulling the same. I believe that's the intention. I don't agree with that, but I believe that's what they're trying to do. All right, let's move on. Can somebody fix the charges display in Spider Weaver in CC? Uh, I'm praying that this will be a part of the patch tomorrow. I really hope this will be a problem. So annoying, the most OP in your game has a display issue. Can't even tell if she has charges or not. I've recorded this. I've sent it in to developers. Hopefully, it get fixed for sure. Uh, can we talk about Blue ISO, uh, uh, Blue ISO 2 level 4 ions? And um, I believe that... Uh, this is, Reminix has been talking about this for a while, that the main bottleneck uh, for getting a baby apocalypse is not going to be gear tier 16. It's going to be the blue ISO 4. It says, for unlocking apocalypse, we're required to bring all 23 characters to blue ISO level 4. Yes, for baby apocalypse and gear tier 16. The cost is, this is a little typo here, it's 715,000 level 2 irons per one character. I went through and started upgrading these characters level four. It was able to upgrade 10 out of 23 before using all my ions. And uh, for the remaining 13 characters, um, he did the math. And I don't know if his math is correct, but I'm going to put a link in the description for a spreadsheet. And it's an apocalypse planner spreadsheet where you can actually plug in all of your rewards. And like the, the person that created the spreadsheet said they were able to do that. And they were able to accurately predict that they are eight weeks away from Finishing all the blue ISO 4, because that's going to be the main bottleneck. So that, the link to this will be in the description, and you can uh, see where you are on this. Uh, for the time remaining, uh, I need to do all this stuff, and this person is basically 26 weeks, 6 months out from getting enough ions uh, to my character's level 4 for uh, unlocking Apocalypse, because they need uh, to finish a lot more characters. Now, Scopely's... Please understand that this is intentional. Scopely wants it this way. This is not accidental. And literally what they want you to do is either wait and just get it when you get them, or you can spend 100 US dollars for about 700,000 T4 blue ISOs. So, you know, 13 characters spend 1300 bucks. That is the plan. Now, I get that not everybody's gonna get Apocalypse Day One, especially free to play, and it's gonna take some time. But on, I, you know, but I'm, I've been thinking and trying to compare this event to like Dormammu and Doom, because they're very different events, uh, the way that they're structured, the way they're set up, and the way that people are getting them. Um, but this, to me, I just want to say, in Scopely's defense, this seems like a better system than Dormammu. I mean, nobody could touch Dormammu without spending ungodly amounts of money for months after Dormammu came out, right? There was a very small group of people that were getting Dormammu right away. And it was, it was like very, very expensive for the people to do that. And, uh, and this is a minority of players, but there are players that are free to play, uh, that I have talked to and have told me that they are on schedule to get, apocalypse the baby apocalypse uh in time for when he 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 comes to the game uh i do think that's good i think it's an improvement from the system that um it was it's an improvement from the system for dormammu it's just more generous in a lot of ways yeah so uh there are people not a lot of people but you know there's dozens of people in my twitch chat that are are in that situation so uh but at the end of the day yeah it's it's this is the main bottleneck for apocalypse and and it's going to take a long time for a lot of people or they you're going to spend a lot of money and uh there is the the the, the spreadsheet if you want to see how far you're out okay also this is oh this is so annoying and this is a known issue uh but um and hopefully this gets fixed in the patch too uh but a lot of people say oh my my calendar popped up but i didn't get the reward so Oh, I, and, and they know about it. It says right here, at server reset, a login counter popped up again, and it seems the players are not receiving rewards. Please note that you should have received your rewards when you logged in after your daily reset, which is in the middle of the night. 
the calendar pops up after server reset is just a visual issue. So the way that it used to work is that in the middle of the night, uh, your, your local reset happens. And the first time that you log in after that reset in the middle of the night, for me, it's a 12 or one. I don't know. I'm not awake then, but it's a 12 or one in the morning. And the calendar pops up and the calendar is 100% visual. It doesn't matter what buttons you push. All of the rewards are automatically dropped into your account and the calendar is presented visually and the calendar itself does nothing. You can actually click to the side of it and it just goes away. If you don't want to click through all of them and collect the rewards, if you just want to save time, you can actually press on the side of the screen and it goes faster. And it's, it, the, the calendar itself is visual, but the rewards are automatically placed in your account no matter what you do the first time you lock in after the daily reset. The problem that's happening now is that the calendar is showing up at the wrong time. And so people are getting the calendar at server reset, which is at four o'clock for me, and it looks like they're not getting a rewards when the rewards are actually already ha are happening in the middle of the night. So hopefully this gets fixed. All right, real quick, we've got some offers. Uh, there is a gold orb opening event next week. I, I don't know that this is going to be a meaningful amount at all. Uh, this is an elite five for 10 us dollars. The anchor pricing on this used to be about 35 bucks. That's what they try to sell it for. Uh, we've got brawn 50 character shards for $5. Uh, gamma team is pretty important. And then we've got sunfire 50 character shards for $5. And, uh, oh, it's time for the giveaway. Uh, those are the only offers that looked interesting to me at all. So now it's time for the giveaway. Uh, I really hope you liked the video today because if you did, you're in luck. For every single person who likes this video, you'll be getting for free in your account an eight star death horseman. This is not a scam. I just thought this was funny uh, because uh, we were, I was talking about Spider Weaver uh, the other day. I prefer the real death horseman and then the costume and then. I said the real Death Horseman, it's Spider Weaver. Spider Weaver is so good. Um, I hate to call characters future proof, but she's so good. And I think that her going early in the match and causing your opponents to miss is going to be a very useful long-term mechanic in Marvel Strike Force. I see this character being important for a significant amount of time. Just my thinking, because it, it seems like a very good uh, with the charges and everything like that. Let me know what you think. And of course, there is no giveaway. It's just a scam, but it, whatever it is. But all right, bye for now. See you tomorrow on Twitch. Patch is going live.